Hello everybody, welcome back to Seven Days to Die. Uh, we are on day 13, which means it's coming down to the wire, but we've pretty much done everything we're going to do to the Horde base. I don't want to waste any more resources on that than I have to. What I really want to do is work on home base for a little while, and some of that is is getting the start of a a mine going so that I can be working on in the evening times. It's also a matter of getting some of the BS out of here that's been in here since the very beginning that needs to go. So let's pick apart my own base. There's a lot of bases that are pretty close by that I really need to go and tear apart finally because they have got cobblestone and all sorts of stuff in them that I need. And how are my potatoes going? Are you doing? They are doing. They're doing something. I don't know what they're doing, but they're doing something. Uh, do I have enough? I've got enough wood. I've got a whole bunch of crap on me. Uh, you know, just for reasons and strats and stuff. That's, that's what I do. I carry a whole bunch of junk around with me. Let's get this taken care of, because none of this stuff has a very high health. I need to fortify... Ah! Fortify the main structure with some sort of defense so I can start working on the horde base part of it. I've got one in there. Awesome. 79 in there. So that makes a little bit. That's not making me feel any better about my prospects of getting this stuff taken care of. But you know what? Wait. Wait. Uh, yeah, that's, that's not right. That's not right. I'm gonna make it too deep. And I also need to move my, my land claim device back just a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is whenever I go to put in the second layer, I'm actually gonna bring it forward just once and go from there. I really need the walls fixed in this area. I would like a lot of it to be cobblestone, a lot of it to be nice and cleaned up. Can I get this stuff upgraded? Nope. But that's a start. Oh, I see what I did here. Uh, let's go ahead and take this down because this is not how it's going to be and I don't want them using this as a way of getting in. I already fixed that. Alright, let's get my... How far back can I move this? One, two, three, four. So it would actually be right here in this door frame somewhere. Alright, let's try there. Jeez, that sounded massive. Uh, don't do that. Okay, show bounds. Uh, can I not get through? Okay, uh, that might actually be a good spot right there. Let's go check. All right, we have a little bit more area over here. Does it... I need a way to get up on all sides. Okay, I did move it to where it could be a little bit more centered because it was way out there on that side. Okay. What about in the back? Always have to check in the back. Okay, as long as I bring the wall in just one... It should work. Awesome. Okay, that that works. That works a whole lot. Uh, this does not. Okay, that's that's a start. Okay, so we do in fact have the pool. Now I don't know how long the pool is going to last, whether or not we're really going to be able to use it, or what... Oh. I'm kind of surprised you respond, but alright. Alright, 
we can take all of that out. And this will actually get me a little bit more wood that I need. I, use. I need to go drop stuff off in the middle of crafting and I'm like, hey, let's hit that record button. Yep, I'm definitely hungry. Okay. Let's uh, go back around here. Actually, let's just take a shortcut because I can and go get some of that food I just cooked. Start shutting my door because I am a smart cookie. I use... And I really need to get some other stuff going. What do I have as far as canned goods go? Um, can a chili is worth 15. Sure. Uh, oh, I have a lot more cobblestone in my, my inventory over here. Nice. Uh, we need to get some stuff going. I've got 11 forged iron. I've got some brass radiators. Okay. I actually started turning on the, uh, what is it, dynamic sounds or something like that, just to see what it had in there, and it's trying to surprise me, I think. Oh, I can make several more of those. I seriously need some more clay. I, I've got to start working on that. Where the hell did I put my feathers at? I had some. Did I drop them in the wrong box? Okay, so in order to make a cement mixer, I need forged iron spring engine and mechanical parts. I think I have all of that. Forged iron. Springs. Mechanical parts. Engine. Uh, mechanical parts. Huh. A cement mixer. Yes, please. I need one of those. I need one of those in my life. Okay. While that is doing, I need to figure out the rest of this base because this is getting ridiculous. Me running all over the place and not actually getting anything accomplished because I am... Ew. There's a lot of stuff that I need. Uh, that's, that's just weird. Okay, that's dirt. Alright. What's this? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna have to fill that back in, but not right this second. And I think... I think... Where do I want the mine at? Alright, so if I'm going to make a horde base, it's gonna have to be... It's gonna have to be somewhere that makes sense for this POI. Let me let me take a look. I can have it coming out of that. I'm still not sure exactly what kind of base I'm going to be using. I could have it come out the front. I could have it come off of this side. I don't know. I kind of like it coming off of this side. It's weird, but at least I'll be able to see very clearly the things that are coming up. I don't know if I so much want to make a killing corridor as I want to make something similar that works with the same concept of it, but something different. Uh, and I'm still not sure, but that means I need to beef up this entire side. Mm. Just like that. And I thought about using this as my driveway, but honestly, it doesn't need to be. So let's go off. I'm gonna need my wall two or three thick. And I don't know about having a door down here at all. Let's 
just try and get a sketch of what I want to do. Okay, so basically I want to be able to, I don't know, have the weight of the building come off of this building. So this building needs to be structurally sound. I mean like several layers thick, structurally sound, so everything can lean off of that building. Put a few pillars out here for them to break into. Uh, craft a hundred. Need to go around and get some more wood. I actually need to get my forestry on. Okay. And basically what I want to do is, is to very much utilize the ability of the turrets and everything else. I want to figure out what all the traps do. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, I'm gonna leave this over here so I can work in this area. Let's go ahead and get it sectioned off. But, if I do this, I want it to come off of here and for me to get into it. But I need this strong enough to where they don't feel the need to go through that. Like this whole wall thing around here. All of this area needs to be beefed up. It needs to be deep and it doesn't need to allow them any easier access to me. Okay, that's, that's my thoughts and I'm sticking to it. That's how it's going to happen. Okay. Okay, we'll have the have the door for me to get down here to work on stuff. What is this? Okay, that needs cement. That's fine. We're gonna have to go through this whole thing and reinforce everything. As a matter of fact, I need to reinforce it all the way to cement. <sighs> If there's an access from here, the thing is, is they need to feel like there's no pathway from this building to the, the killing area. Which means I need to take out the stairs. No pathway means those little engineer guys can't use this as a way to get to me. wall safe in here. I didn't even realize. Okay. Alright, so what I might want to do in that case is the better defense would be to bring all of my stuff upstairs. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. So in order to eliminate their ability to go upstairs, I would just need to take these blocks up. That's not a big deal. My question is, is, do I take all of this stuff from the ground floor and move it up to the top floor? I kind of don't want to have to. I kind of like the idea of a living space separate from a battle space. So I think I'm going to use that as my battle space up there and just put so many layers on here, there's no reason for them to want to go through. Like, there's no path from this area to get to my area. Yeah. And maybe what I could actually do is my entrance into this base is not even in here. Maybe I dig my mine shaft out and my entrance into this base is through my tunnel. God, guys, this is this is hard cuz um well, it, it's just hard. I'm having a hard time thinking of which way I want to handle this. I know I want to do a reinforced something on that side. I want to be able to have the horde base close enough to where I can work on it. But I still need to protect it. Okay. So. I have been working for quite some time and I've got this. 
I don't think I should actually have a pathway here. I need to make it the only way to get into the horde base itself is up through there, but not a legitimate path for the zombies to see that building as a way of getting to me. It needs to be like I invite them to come over here and there needs to be several layers between me and the actual base. So, how do you do that? Because I know that they're going to try and find a way to get up to me. Unless I provide them an easier path to get up to me, then you go into the killing corridor. But my killing corridor isn't for me to kill them. I don't want the experience from the kills. I want to put them through a massacre of turrets and tr spike traps and traps and everything else. I want them to go through hell to try and make it around to me. So that's going to be my shtick. It's a killing corridor, but for a different reason. How to do that, though? Ugh. See, I've already been recording for 30 minutes, but most of it's been me messing around with this. What I need to do is give myself a way to get to the new area, which would be probably right here. Can I still get up if I put a block there? Probably nope. Unless I do that. In which case I go up this way. Okay. Because I want to hopefully not damage my ability to use this building. Okay. I want my ability to get over there from here. Something they don't see is a path. Which would basically be running and jumping, but it needs to be far enough away to where they won't try to use it. Like, several frames. Okay. If I was to build it out there, I would want it to enter into here. I want them to fall into this area and kind of get stuck in here. Along with all of my traps. How far away am I from being able to make blade traps? They take steel, right? Uh, is that thing? Yes, it's done. Okay, um, traps. So, iron spike traps, forged iron, which means I can go ahead and make those. And the loose boards, spike traps, tripwire post. What is that? Huh. Dart traps. Forged iron, mechanical parts, electric parts, and oil. I can make that. I mean, I've got the stuff for it. Uh, forged steel. So I can't use the garage doors to do it. Forged iron. I need that plan. I need that plan. Okay, and I've got my cement mixer, which means I can get some stuff going. Where is it? Darities. Dang it. I want these where I want them. There. Now I'm going to need sand, and I've only got those. How much rocks do I have? Clay soul, not a whole lot, so, you know, probably not going to be able to do a whole hell of a lot. But, I'm going to get some of it going. I can do that. Crush sand, let's do 500. Uh, mix that, and we'll just slowly start getting this stuff situated. Set those in there. So, did I have anything extra? Not really... And not really. So this is the time when you learn to mine, and there's no time like the present. So where do I want the mine at? I would like to be able to access the mine from here. Um, and I would need to go deep enough underground. I know that there's some ores over there. So if I go... 
I just don't want anything spawning inside it. So if I build it right here, go down quite a few layers, and then build over across the street, I should be fine. Let's go north. I need to be able to get down several layers before... Uh, I got so many chrysanthemums up here. I need to pick them all and get all their seeds. Particularly this one. Nope, give me that. I need these teas. It's the only way to make drinks usable again. There we go. That's, that's pretty decent. I think. Is that enough room? Let's see. Yep, 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 yep. Max stamina is decreased because I'm hungry from... Frank, we've had this conversation. <sighs> I need a silencer. Now here comes Chad. I need my arrows back. Come on, Chad. Now, if you don't mind, I'm trying to do stuff and things in here. over here as well. No, 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 no. That doesn't have a whole hell of a lot of health, sir. Stop that. I will shoot you in both cheeks. Stop. The space is not ready for all of you guys. Stop playing with things. I need food. So, how many vitamins do I have? Because you can technically take a vitamin and it will help you whenever you eat. But I'm not planning on gorging until the night of, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Okie dokie. That will work for right now. I need to start getting some other stuff situated. All of these... Let's see, I've got brass trying to go in. that iron going in. Uh, there's plenty of clay in here. Lead, sand, I don't have either one of those. How is this doing? Okay, and the limiting factor is sand. So let's go 500. Okay, 267. That's fine. Time to do a bit of upgrading over here. And I'm already out. <laughs> okay, this is honestly a little bit bigger than it needs to be. Move that wall back a few. Okay, that should give it a pretty decent base to go off of. There's going to be other pillars that are going to hold it up. Seriously, I'm already out? Oh my god. Okie dokie. Alright, well that's all the upgrading I can do right now, but basically I want to be able to get from this over to it. And it needs to be a little bit higher than this entrance way to attract them over there, I think.
Okie dokie. Yeah, I can see a little bit better through here, which means if anything decides it wants to try and take a chunk out of something, I can find it. I'm kind of hesitant about right here, though. Ah, oh, that's fun. That's fun. Okie dokie. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do between now and Horde Night. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go mining. Basically is what all I want to do between now and Horde Night is to get some more materials to upgrade this base. So I can start going out on raids again. And I'm going to have to re-raid a couple of houses that I've been through already to get some more stuff. So I don't know. And iron... Okay. Now, I've got 70 forged iron. If I can get some more forged iron. Sure. Go ahead and craft all those. I'm going to go ahead and get this thing. Crafting uh, traps. Iron spike traps. Sure. Use up all of that. Go ahead and start crafting that. I want this base to be ready by the time the next horde is coming. So, what do I need to do? I need to do a lot of mining. I need to get my food situation taken care of. So, I'm not precisely sure how I'm going to do that. These are still growing, and I'm not even sure I can make seeds from that. I don't, I don't have the ability to make more than one. I know that. Um... Let's go ahead and take these off. They look horrendous anyway. Okay. So... I've got ways of getting around. And I've got the entrance right there. The thing is, is I need... Several different spots that are actually... Care are the load-bearing walls for this building. That are not necessarily going to be close enough that the zombies are going to be like, Hey, maybe I should go beat on that. So, if I was going to make a load-bearing wall... It would have to be somewhere out, somewhere outside of it. I'm not sure that I want this wall here, so I'm not going to upgrade any more than that. I don't know why I was doing that. I was thinking and upgrading at the same time. So, from there, use my, uh, these to actually get across to where I'm trying to go. About like that. And then build it up by one or two. One or two blocks in order to make me higher than this building so that they won't try to use this building as a way of getting up or it needs to be lower. Does it need to be higher or lower? Guys, I don't know. I don't know how I want to do this. All I know is I want to make the horde base over here without making a killing corridor or at least not a killing corridor the way that Jawoodle does it. It is like his whole thing is, is get them going repeatedly through it to try and kill them off himself to get the experience. And I get the reason for doing that. My whole thing is, is I don't really care about getting the experience. Because, and that's going to influence my game stage as well as how long I've been alive. So, if I can keep the experience down, I can stop it from, you know, elevating the game stage too fast for me to actually explore. So... The thing is, if I was to try and do any sort of a pit, this road would be in the way. Hmm. I don't want them trying to use that area. So... No pit. But I need to be able to run the electricity over here whenever I start getting electricity. 
So what if I go three, four out, which would put it one, two, three, four. Right here. Right there. Starting where I'm going to be at. And I'll just take all of those out so they won't try to use that building. So let me build some sort of a platform over here. Okay, is that... That's... That's not it. Okay, okay. I, I need to... I need to be up here. Okay. Some sort of platform right here. Okay, and I'll take those out as I'm going over, so I actually don't need more than one lane. Alright, now from here... Uh, do I want my defenses to start here, or do I just want to... Because if I have the platform here, that means they are technically going to be pretty close to my little wall over here. Am I out? Nope. Now I am. And I'm hungry again. Daggummit. Okay. I've been recording for like 55 minutes and I really haven't done anything besides piddle around with my house. So this is probably going to get cut like a lot because I haven't really been doing anything besides messing around here. And I'm going to try and leave in kind of my thought processes and how I'm trying to do this. But basically I want this house to be a part of or at least very close to my horde base. So what I'm trying to do is I want to build off of this building but it's not actually going to be attached to this building. Like these are the blocks I'm going to use to get over but I'm going to pull them up during a horde night. And then the actual building, whatever it is I'm going to do, is going to start here. And I'm probably going to wall off back behind it to where it actually is on the wall of my base. Or maybe back behind it. I might pull the wall up to the actual building. That way they have no reason to go inside the building looking for me because there won't be an accessible way to get to me. Now the problem is, is trying to figure out exactly what to do on the other side. I would like a building that has a lot of pillars, which means there's a lot of different ways they could break a lot of the pillars and still not make me fall, which means there needs to be, I don't know, at least a couple of load-bearing pillars that are very, very highly upgraded. And then just some ones that they're allowed to knock down whenever they get testy. And then I want a lot of traps. I mean, like, a lot of traps. So I'm actually currently making spike iron traps for the next, uh, not this horde, but the next horde, for that to be usable. And... I don't know. We're just going to have to see where this goes. I was hoping to actually do the Horde Night today. So I'll probably do another recording after I do a bit, of, a bit of more piddling around here. Like I'm going to send some stuff through the machines, maybe do a little bit of digging, and come back maybe an hour before Horde Night. So anyway, I think that's going to be it for today. I will see you all next time. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and you stay shiny.